Boy, this is really exciting as the life and story of one of Ohio's most legendary women is on display now here in Cleveland at the Elcott Theater. Irma Bombeck at Wits End celebrates the life and legacy of the late columnist. Telling her story is the one woman herself, actress and author Pam Sherman. Good morning to you. Welcome to good Fox morning. 8 News. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, so exciting to have you here. Let's talk about what, so this is all kicking off this weekend here in Cleveland about yeah. this so such a famous Ohioan, right? It's so amazing to do this here in Cleveland, in Ohio, where uh, just a few miles away, Irma went to University of Dayton and was a celebrated member of the Dayton community. Yeah. But the playwrights are actually from Chagrin Falls, Peggy and Allison Engel, and it was their dream to have this show done at the Cleveland Playhouse, which is an iconic Tony Award winning theater and I'm just thrilled to be here doing it in Ohio and getting to know Cleveland too. <laughs> but you've also done this production in other states too as well. Yes. So, so this is a huge thing even much bigger than Cleveland. We've been really lucky. Everywhere we go this sells out and I think it's a testament to who Irma Bombeck was that we all need that light and humor yeah. and perspective about what it was like to be a housewife in the 1960s, but more important, what it's like to be a wife, a mother, a woman in the world. Yeah. So it's a great human story that men and women and intergenerational, I mean, I love when I see young people in the audience getting to know her. Um, they might laugh at the digital, you know, the dialing of the phone. Right. Or, or might not even know what that is. Right. Or an what iron. is that lady doing What's there? What's the concept of an iron? <laughs> right, that's true, yeah. And you kind of have a parallel thing. You, you did some syndicated column work as well. You know, Irma was doing that. So that's gotta be kind of interesting to kind of see how, well, both your lives parallel and now you're coming mm -hmm. together to There's be no this one There's no question woman. she yeah. was an inspiration for mm -hmm. every single mommy blogger, um, mm. female columnist. Uh, she was in 900 newspapers. I was lucky enough to wow. write for the USA Today Network for 15 years. Wow. I don't even think there were that many newspapers in the network. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, we've, we all live in a digital world. Remember opening the newspaper? Of course. And seeing, you know, what's she going to say today? Mm -hmm. She wrote three columns a week from 1964 until her passing, plus 18 separate books. Wow. She was so prolific. And on Good Morning America, and then the magazines, yeah. that, those mm -hmm. were so big too, Good Housekeeping Absolutely. and Absolutely, I mean, she was, if you think about, you know, everyone's so excited to get quoted by Oprah, it was really Irma Bombeck who saw herself as uh, really a journalist telling stories about what it was like to be a woman in America. Yeah. And that's what I love. And using humor in a way that even men could enjoy and think was clever and funny. Absolutely. And for me, uh, I, you know, my column, I like to say my husband, who I married to for the husband for 40 years, oh, uh, was always an inspiration for <laughs> yeah. my father. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> And my kids too. And sure. there's no question that she was an inspiration when I was asked to write a column about my life in a cornfield. You know. So this is a one-woman show. Yeah, just me. As, as people are gathering, 183 people uh, will be able to watch this at one time at the uh, Outcult Theater there at uh, at Playhouse Square. A very intimate setting where you're able to kind of just really connect with people on that level. Oh, the audience is part of the show. Yeah. I, I, they, yeah. they call it a one-person show, but it is not a one-person show. Yeah. First of all, there's all the incredible creative professionals at the Cleveland Playhouse who have brought this show to life, from yeah. the director to the lighting designer to the set designer to all of the professionals who have to follow me every night. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then the audience, it's, it is intimate. They're right there in my house. So we're all seeking human connection. Theater does that. Mm -hmm. It is a, an exchange of heartbeats in the moment, and I For feel sure. so honored when I look up and I see an audience just soaking in her story yeah. and taking time away from all the noise yeah. to settle into a different time, but that still is relevant today, absolutely relevant today. What's the feedback been like for you that you're hearing, that you're seeing, that you're reading about with this production and, and you and well, Irma there's excitement. and what people are learning about her? Most important, the fact that people are buying tickets to me is That's the best huge. feedback <laughs> that you can get. Right, right, of course. Because the more people we have there's you know there's a swell of connection when there's mm -hmm. a larger audience but everybody I, I'm seeing like a lot of mm hmm's and shaking of heads oh, in funny. performance mm -hmm. which yeah. is really great yeah. um, and then the surprising parts of her story that people probably didn't know that in addition to writing her column and working on Good Morning America she was an activism activist 
for the women who didn't have a voice, mm. housewives, women working in the home. And that's still yeah. an issue today, mm -hmm. right? So um, I just love that she, that was a big surprise for me, finding that out about her, because I always thought that she was just funny Irma. Um, but, <laughs> but she, she was, was empowering, yeah. She was more than yeah. funny. She was poignant, she was heartfilled, and she was powerful. We have a lot to learn from her, right? Absolutely. And we can do that through the play. We love your hair there, by the way. Yes, look at that. Yeah, don't I look different? <laughs> <laughs> now through August 20th at the Outcall Theater there at Playhouse Square at Wits and it's the story of Irma Bombeck. Go check it out. We have information and a link on how you can get tickets right on our website, fox8.com. Thank you so much for coming yes, in. Thank you for having me. It's been a delight me. to have come you to here. The show. I yes, can't wait we to want to come. Exactly. Yes, we do. You especially. We've heard I will. <laughs> I'll learn a yes. lot, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> bring the guys. It's not just a woman's thing. Please bring them. The message will resonate, uh -huh. right? That's absolutely <laughs> sure.